and Sunday is WrestleMania. And tonight, your final Monday Night Raw of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode on the road to WrestleMania. What a year it has been, but tonight we are going out with a bang. Later tonight, in your main event, is a first time ever champion versus champion match as the WWE Champion Randy Orton is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Bruiserweight, the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne. Both men with challenges awaiting at WrestleMania, but they collide later tonight. Plus, the three men involved in the WWE Tag Team Championship situation this weekend will begin in a triple threat match. The one and only Ricochet from SmackDown, Dominic Dijakovic from Raw, and one half of the Tag Team Champions, Johnny Gargano, meet in a triple threat match later tonight. That is, of course, one of two triple threat matches that'll take place this week. The other will be on Friday Night SmackDown. But we kick off the final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania with the number one contender to the WWE Championship this Sunday at the grandest stage of them all. Matt Riddle is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. It is coming up this Sunday, live right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday. The 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, gets his long-awaited affair with the Viper, Randy Orton, for the WWE Championship. And of course, as announced last week on Raw, after all the chaos, all the anarchy between the two former members of RK Bro, that main event match will be contested under no holds barred. And here comes another man that will be participating in a big time tag team garage match come WrestleMania Sunday, Sami Zayn. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn. Well, his tag team partner, Kevin Owens, not in here at Raw tonight due to the events of last week in the cage match against Edge, but coming up this Sunday, the Kevin Owens and Sami show look to settle the score once and for all with the phenomenal AJ Styles and the rated R superstar, Edge. And again, last week here on Raw, it was inside a steel cage, Edge and Kevin Owens in a long-awaited Royal Rumble rematch, Edge picking up the win. Neither man is in the house here at Raw tonight, both home resting up from the steel cage they will be back next week, or excuse me, this Sunday at WrestleMania to participate in the tag team grudge match. A whole lot of writing on that story and a whole lot of writing in the WWE Championship match, but tonight is the final chance for every man in the Raw locker room to build momentum towards WrestleMania this weekend. Matt Riddle and Sami Zayn kicking off what is gonna be an epic night of Monday Night Raw action. Still to come, as we mentioned, the WWE Champion Randy Orton is in action against the Intercontinental Champion. Pete Dunne, and also, of course, coming up this Sunday on WrestleMania Saturday, I should say, is the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, which will feature Ricochet and Mustafa Ali from SmackDown, taking on Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic from Raw. The winners of that match will move on to WrestleMania Sunday to challenge DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championship. And all three of those teams gonna have opportunities to build some momentum this week. It kicks off here tonight on Raw as Gargano, Dijakovic, and Ricochet meet in a triple threat match. Coming up on Friday Night SmackDown, it will be Mustafa Ali, Damian Priest, and Tommaso Ciampa, the other three members of those duos meeting in another triple threat matchup. Let's focus in on the action right now. Matt Riddle and Sami Zayn going at it. A whole lot of momentum riding on the line. And for Sami Zayn, after Kevin Owens took a loss last week inside the steel cage to Edge, you gotta believe they are in desperate need of some momentum in the KO and Sami corner. Sami going to the top rope here. Matt Riddle trying to get to his feet. He's been involved in an all-out war with Randy Orton, really dating back to last May, but has certainly picked up on the road to WrestleMania. Thanks to Randy Orton holding the WWE Championship and of course Riddle winning the Royal Rumble match back on January 1st. Riddle's been waiting to get his hands on Randy Orton. 
for so, so long. The last time they met from bell to bell was August the 7th of last year at Extreme Rules where Randy Orton left Matt Riddle laying with a sledgehammer inside of that ring. Riddle has waited long and hard. He has got his opportunity this Sunday to finally get his hands on Randy Orton where it counts. No holds barred. The WWE title's on the line. Riddle taking Sami Zayn to the outside. Bear kick to the face and he falls over the ax hammer. It's your final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania. And of course, as we mentioned, the final Monday Night Raw of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Friday Night SmackDown still to come. WrestleMania this weekend. We will pick things back up with our Universe Mode once WWE 2K23 is available. The same Universe Mode, the same stories, but an all-new year kicks off in just a matter of weeks. It's going to be an awesome time here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe down below to bring you guys much more content in the future. Meanwhile, Matt Riddle focusing in on the action inside the arena. German suplexes Sami Zayn, laying him out on the outside. Riddle hell-bent on building momentum towards this Sunday's affair with Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Here comes Riddle dropping an elbow from the top. A simple yet effective maneuver Certainly going to be more effective than usual coming from the heavens like that. Again, Kevin Owens not out here at ringside tonight like normal with Sami Zayn. Oh, man, and Riddle off the apron with the bro time. Kevin Owens is home as well as Edge. Both men rusting up from the steel cage affair last week. What a match it was. The replay is available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Both men will be back in action this Sunday night. Tag team grudge match. Old rivals Edge and AJ Styles. Well, let's be honest, really don't like each other, but there's certainly a mutual respect there after their rivalry late last year. And the two men will be teaming up to take down Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. My goodness! Matt Riddle throwing caution in the wind, and that was certainly a costly misstep by the original bro. Went from the senton from the top. Sami Zayn got out of the way and crash and burn here at ringside. Riddle's got to remember that he's got Randy Orton this Sunday, and I'm sure he hasn't forgot, but he's got to make sure he's still intact come WrestleMania. Can't be risking injury tonight in this matchup versus Sami Zayn. Got to get this done one way or another, but ain't going to do it by crashing and burning here at ringside. Sami Zayn bringing this fight back into the ring, and that mistake by Riddle may be all Sami Zayn needed to get the victory here tonight. Swanton bomb by Sami Zayn. Zane wants that victory. After Kevin Owens lost last week, the KO and Sami show needs some momentum going into WrestleMania. Now locking in that camera clutch on Riddle. And after Riddle's crash and burn moment a few moments ago at ringside, the lower back has got to be killing the original bro. Sami Zayn trying to take advantage, but there's Riddle getting out of a submission hold. Now a spear down to Sami Zayn. Riddle, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, the WWE Champion, Randy Orton, who will be in action later tonight is, was he here on Raw or is he just playing mind games with Riddle? Riddle's eye getting taken off the ball, thanks to Randy Orton. Wait a minute, Huluva kick by Sami Zayn. The number one contender may be knocked out cold. Oh, you have gotta be kidding me. Sami Zayn just stole a victory over Matt Riddle, thanks to Randy Orton. My God, you know, there is gonna be hell to pay come this Sunday. If there wasn't enough writing on Riddle versus Orton, add some more layer to that cake because Sami Zayn just stole the victory over the number one contender for the WWE Championship. It's what he's best at. Here is your winner. Sami Zayn steals another victory here on Monday Night Raw, just like he screwed over Edge a couple of weeks ago. But nonetheless, momentum back in the corner of the KO and Sami show for this Sunday.
We're back live on the final Monday Night Raw before this Saturday and Sunday's WrestleMania. And it's time for a little women's division action. Carmella set for one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one affair against the number one contender for the WWE Women's Championship on Sunday night, the man, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch outlasted five other competitors inside the Elimination Chamber a few weeks ago, and she goes one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, for the WWE Women's Title. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch returned in the lead up to the Elimination Chamber after almost a year on the shelf, defeated Sasha Banks for a spot inside the chamber, when things came down to her and an old rival in Bianca Belair, the man outlasted them all and punched her ticket to WrestleMania, an event she is very familiar with, an event she may have evented in years past and walked away with championship gold. But the question remains, can she do it again against the dominating and intimidating Asuka this Sunday night in Tampa Bay, Florida? We will find out. This Sunday, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time live premiere. But here we go, here on Raw, Becky Lynch versus Carmella. And not to sidetrack, but I cannot get over what just happened moments ago. Matt Riddle, who has been on a roll for months here on Monday Night Raw, getting screwed over by who other than Sami Zayn, of course, was the one to reap the benefits, but of course screwed over by his opponent this Sunday, the WWE Champion Randy Orton. The music played, Riddle's eye gets taken off the ball. Sami Zayn capitalizes, knocks him out with the Huluva kick just long enough to get the victory. There's gonna be hell to pay for the WWE Champion. I cannot wait. This Sunday night, no holds barred. Orton and Riddle one-on-one. -on -one. We will see Orton later tonight in the main event, champion versus champion against the Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne. Right now, Becky Lynch muscling up Carmella and slams her down on the canvas. We're going to talk about being on the roll. The man has been perfection since her return. Question is, will she be able to ride that momentum into WrestleMania? And that's if she can get past Carmella successfully tonight. A loss would certainly put some doubts in the mind of the man leading in to the show of shows. Her matchup against the dominating Asuka. She may have lost the title from Survivor Series to the Royal Rumble, but she corrected that mistake at the Royal Rumble, won back the gold, and really Asuka has been your champion for the better part of seven months here in the WWE. Meanwhile, Becky Lynch slamming Carmella through the canvas, and that's gonna do it. A short night of work for the man, but she is gonna have a tall task ahead of her. Come this Sunday at WrestleMania, it's the man versus the Empress for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Momentum certainly on the side of Becky Lynch, but Asuka has been unstoppable. Something's gotta give, somebody's gotta go down in falling strides, and who will walk away from the grandest stage of them all, holding the WWE Women's Championship of the World. Oh, wait a minute. Karrion Cross, Rob Van Dam, cameras cut to the back. These two men will fight on Saturday night in an Extreme Rules matchup, but clearly the issue has boiled over here to Monday Night Raw. Well, RVD saved Sheamus from a beatdown a few weeks ago on Raw, attacked Karrion Cross with a kendo stick. Last week, the match was made for WrestleMania, but these two men not waiting for Tampa Bay, Florida. I don't know who started this match, I got, or excuse me, who started this brawl. I gotta believe it was Karrion Cross. He is putting the pain on Rob Van Dam right now. Wait for Sunday, or excuse me, Saturday. Karrion Cross with a chair right to RVD. We need to get some help back there. Get these two men situated before the match for Saturday goes up in smoke. We need to get some help back there for RVD. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, a heartbreaking tweet from Tegan Knox. She had this to say, unfortunately, last week during our match, I suffered yet another knee injury that is forcing me to miss WrestleMania. As heartbroken as I am, I am confident I will be back soon enough. Shotzi and whoever she finds to be her partner will take down the way once and for all. See you all soon.
More to come on that situation later tonight here on Raw, but we got a couple of matchups to address. Speaking of the way, they take on Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in tag team action, plus the phenomenal AJ Styles after his win against Omos last week looks to keep the momentum going against Jinder Mahal. And the results of those contests see the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Candice and Indy Hartwell taking the W over Bliss and Morgan. Plus, AJ Styles continues the winning ways over the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal on your final Monday Night Raw before this Saturday and Sunday's WrestleMania. What well, is time for a little triple threat action ahead? of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic plus the WWE Tag Team Championship match this Saturday and Sunday night in Tampa Bay, Florida at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And here comes a semi-finalist, Dominic Dijakovic. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Kingsboro, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. Let me reword that there. Here comes a finalist, Dominic Dijakovic, along with Damian Priest representing Raw, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali representing SmackDown in the finals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic this Saturday night at WrestleMania. A little bit of brand supremacy on the line, but of course an opportunity to move into WrestleMania Sunday to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Titles that Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest held from September the 10th at Judgment Day all the way till January 1st at the Royal Rumble, where they were dethroned by the current champions, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, DIY. And speaking of DIY, here comes one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano. Two Raw participants, one from SmackDown in this triple threat affair, but who's gonna walk away the victor? And his opponents, first, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Gargano. Again, they held the gold since January 1st, and they will defend the gold on Sunday night against the winners of the Dusty Classic, whether that be Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic from Raw, or whether that be Mustafa Ali and Ricochet from Friday Night SmackDown. Gargano and Ciampa retained those tag team titles back on January 22nd in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. They've had an inter interesting and impressive reign as the champions so far have been dominated over the division. Will that continue on Sunday night? Two viable teams looking to get the WWE Tag Team Championships around their waist this Sunday night at WrestleMania. Who will it be? We'll find out on Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Well, normally we see this man on the blue brand, but tonight in the lead up to WrestleMania, he is rocking red. The one, the only, Ricochet is back on Monday Night Raw. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. You know, for a good portion of Ricochet's six month Cruiserweight Championship reign that was featured here on Monday Night Raw before the draft in November. It's been quite some time since the one and only Grace, the Monday Night Raw reign, but he's back tonight ahead of WrestleMania. And of course, this Friday night on SmackDown, Damian Priest and Tommaso Ciampa for Monday Night Raw make their way over to the blue brand to battle Ricochet's tag team partner, Mustafa Ali, in the other triple threat match leading up to this Sunday and Saturday's affairs at WrestleMania. It should be a great matchup between these three incredible competitors. Ricochet and Johnny Gargano, no strangers to each other. They had a match of the year candidate back in 2019 for the NXT North American Championship. 
But here we go here on Raw, Dijakovic, Ricochet, and of course one half of the tag team champions, Johnny Organo. Triple threat matchup ahead of our main event, which will feature the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne and the WWE Champion Randy Orton going one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. A lot of first time ever matchups this week, plenty to come on Saturday and Sunday night at WrestleMania. All about building momentum towards the Tag Team Championship match on Sunday. And then, of course, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final on Saturday for Dijakovic and Ricochet. Right now, Dijakovic showcased a little bit of that ability against Gargano. And I cannot wait to see the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals on Saturday night. What a tournament it has been so far. Dijakovic and Priest, who have really come into their own as a tag team ever since coming together last summer against Ricochet and Ali, who are definitely a new tag team to the division, but have certainly been impressive throughout the Dusty Classic. Wins over Imperium and Legato Del Fantasma to make their way to the finals so far. Meanwhile, Priest and Dijakovic defeating the Viking Raiders and the New Day. Organo on the outside. Meanwhile, Dijakovic going for the springboard moonsault. Ricochet having none of it there. Nobody knows how to take it to the sky quite like the former Cruiserweight Champion. There's a reason they call him the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. Dijakovic and Damian Priest, one of the strongest duos in the division because of their agility, because of their strength and size. Full packages inside of that ring are Dijakovic and Priest. Meanwhile, Gargano taking out an old rival in Ricochet. Dijakovic gonna make sure he doesn't win it. Wait a minute, roll up by Dijakovic and Gargano gets the shoulder up. Chaos in the triple threat match ahead of WrestleMania this weekend. SmackDown's Ricochet down and out yet again. Gargano and Dijakovic, old rivals, left 1v1. And Gargano taking out Dijakovic with an neck breaker. Again, it was Dijakovic and Damian Priest who lost the Tag Team Championships back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble to Gargano and Ciampa. Meanwhile, Gargano slingshot to Dijakovic, head first into the middle buckle. But not watching out, Ricochet's back into the ring. But Gargano ruling the ring right now. Gargano escaped with the one and only, and this could be all she wrote for this triple threat affair. Ricochet survives the submission hold, but Gargano's going for the pinfall. Dijakovic's breaking this thing up. Referee finally gets it there. And now the big man looking to rule the ring. Choke slam, and he sits out with it. And down goes one half of the tag team champions. Dijakovic and Ricochet left mano y mano inside of the ring. Super kick gets caught by the one and only. And Ricochet drops the big man with the DDT. Simple yet effective maneuver by the former Cruiserweight champion. All these men have held championship gold in the last year here in WWE. They're all looking to either do it again in Dijakovic and Ricochet's mind, or at least hold on to it by Johnny Gargano. Meanwhile, Ricochet showcasing some of that high-flying ability. Head scissors take down on, on Dijakovic. Johnny Gargano right there to take advantage and sends the one and only to the outside. All three men on the outskirts of the ring right now. This is where things might get ugly as Ricochet face plants Johnny Gargano at ringside. Again, still to come, Friday night on SmackDown, the other three men of these tag team duos, Damian Priest, Mustafa Ali, and Tommaso Ciampa meet in the other triple threat matchup. Ricochet takes down Gargano, wait a minute, Ricochet catches Dijakovic with the recall knee, out of nowhere, and the one and only comes to Monday Night Raw and secures a victory in enemy territory. Caught Dijakovic, off his game for a split second, and Ricochet continues his winning ways. He has been on a roll as of late, walks in the roll, and Here secures a W. Ricochet. Momentum certainly in the corner of SmackDown's human highlight reel, the heart and soul of the blue brand. Will they be the winners of the Dusty Classic come this Saturday at WrestleMania? Well, ladies and gentlemen, after the events of last week on Raw, the Rated R Superstar took to Instagram earlier today to say this. 
Last week was only a taste of what is to come for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. I spent over a month on the shelf because of Owens, and Sami's interference at the Rumble took away even more valuable time. I'm done playing games. I've been in this business far too long to not get the respect I earned from today's locker room. I don't like AJ Styles, but we have a common enemy. This Sunday, it's Judgment Day for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And WrestleMania is coming your way this weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time for both nights, double live premiere for the grandest stage of them all. And coming up on Saturday, the women's tag team championships are on the line. Shotzi in need of a new tag team partner. Tegan Knox is on the shelf with a knee injury. Who is she gonna find to face the way? And it is the return of the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes, as he is set for a first time ever collision against the now, the former WWE Champion, all day, Austin Theory, one on one. From Friday Night SmackDown, the prestigious Cruiserweight Championship of the world is up for grabs as the Emperor of Lucha Libre, Santos Escobar, meets the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio. What a Cruiserweight clash it's gonna be. We saw the chaos in the backstage area earlier this Sunday. It'll be from bell to bell. Extreme Rules match. Rob Van Dam versus Karrion Cross. Another first time ever meeting. And speaking of first time ever, it is Godzilla versus King Kong. The Nigerian Giant Omos versus the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar reinforced the ring. Come Tampa Bay. Two of United Kingdom's best set to square off for the Intercontinental Championship. This will be a professional wrestling clinic. The invincible Ilya Dragunov, the bruiserweight Pete Dunne, one-on-one. -on -one. We just talked about it moments ago, but it is the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest take on Ricochet and Mustafa Ali. And in the main event, of WrestleMania Saturday from Friday Night SmackDown. The World Heavyweight title is on the line. The Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, one-on-one -on -one with the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And then moving on to Sunday night, the WWE World Tag Team Championships on the line. Johnny Organo and Tommaso Ciampa DIY defend against Saturday night's winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. As announced this past Friday night, the defiant L.A. Knight wants to be on the marquee for WrestleMania, and he gets his wish. But who is going to stand across the ring from L.A. Knight? It's an open challenge. Who's going to sign the contract this Sunday? We saw her in action earlier tonight, and the man, Becky Lynch, is on a roll. Will the number one contender be able to dethrone the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, with the WWE Women's Championship on the line? We heard from Edge moments ago, and this Sunday, he's back in action alongside an old rival, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Tag team grudge match versus the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn show. Another first time ever meeting between two SmackDown All-Stars, the glorious one, Robert Roode gets his wish for a matchup against the franchise of WWE, John Cena. First time ever for the United States title, the almighty Bobby Lashley, Imperium's ring general, Walter, two behemoths clash. This is gonna be a hard hitting affair for the US title. And in the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, no holds barred, barely a year in the making, Matt Riddle, Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. WrestleMania comes your way this Saturday and Sunday night. Double live premieres at 5 p.m. Eastern time. But it is time for your main event here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at 205 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Ever since making his main roster debut on April the 11th of last year at Backlash, Pete Dunne now in his second reign with the Intercontinental Championship. 
Originally won it back at SummerSlam last year by defeating Drew McIntyre and Sheamus in a triple threat matchup. Kicked off his second reign back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden in yet another triple threat match versus Sheamus and Tommaso Ciampa. He done has been the Intercontinental Champion for the better part of the last year, but will his title reign come to an end this Saturday night against the invincible Ilya Dragunov? And here comes the man who will defend the most prestigious prize in the industry, the WWE Championship this Sunday, the Apex Predator, set for a first time ever champion versus champion main event. And his opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. And unfortunately, this isn't the first time Randy Orton's music has played through the arena tonight. It hit earlier during Matt Riddle and Sami Zayn's one-on-one -on -one affair, took the original bro's eye off the ball, and Matt Riddle losing his first matchup in months here on Raw due to the distraction for that cold-hearted son of a bitch, Randy Orton. But it all comes to a head. The wait is over this Sunday night. Everything that Riddle and Randy Orton have been through through the better part of the last year finally comes to a screeching halt in Tampa Bay, Florida, Raymond James Stadium, the main event of WrestleMania, and there's gonna be no disqualifications, no count outs, no restrictions, absolutely no holds barred when the two former members of RK Bro meet once and for all for that prestigious prize, the WWE Championship. What a night it has been, what a weekend it's gonna be, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Pete Dunne, Randy Orton. First time they have ever stepped foot in the ring with each other here on Raw, and the matchup is underway. This is champion versus champion. What an historic main event matchup on your final Raw before WrestleMania. And ahead of both of their title defenses this Sunday, neither man is gonna be looking to come out this thing with a loss. He done again, will face Ilya Dragunov on Saturday night. Randy Orton will defend the WWE title on Sunday night. Before we get there, both these men with this one-on-one -on -one collision in the main event. Randy Orton taking the fight to the bruiserweight and down goes the Intercontinental Champion. And Randy Orton not afraid to take a moment to soak it in inside the squared circle. We know what Randy Orton, the, the cards he plays inside of that ring, cold and calculated beats to his own drum and likes to wrestle his own match. Pete Dunne's got a hard hitting break your body down style. And you almost see some similarities between Pete Dunne and Randy Orton's offense inside of that ring. They will pick you apart limb by limb. So it'll certainly be an interesting matchup as this thing progresses. Right now, it has been all Randy Orton, the WWE Champion, dominating the Intercontinental Champion in the early moments. And he goes for an elbow drop off the second rope, uncharacteristic by the Viper. And it allows the Bruiserweight to take the upper hand. Pete Dunne, who has been on a roll as the Intercontinental Champion. Remember, he was the one who handed Karrion Cross his first loss since returning to WWE back at the Elimination Chamber on January 22nd. Wait a minute, small package here by Randy Orton trying to steal this thing and get it done early. But Pete Dunne able to pop the shoulder up and a nice kick by the Intercontinental Champion. It's going to be a hard task for the invincible Ilya Dragunov on Saturday night. Two former NXT and ID Kingdom champions meet for the legendary, prestigious Intercontinental Championship. And what I predict may be the best wrestling match of WrestleMania weekend. All remains to be seen. Both WrestleMania Saturday and Sunday will be double live premieres. Both will take place at 5 p.m. Eastern time, back-to-back -back nights. It's gonna be an historic weekend here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. Pete Dunne trying to Snap the arm of Randy Orton there. Orton having none of it. Nice corkscrew to the leg, like him or not. Matt Riddle's got to be feeling some type of way. He's got to be furious after Randy Orton distracted him in his matchup earlier tonight. It allowed Sami Zayn to sneak away with another victory. And of course it had to be Sami Zayn. Everything Sami Zayn has done the last few months since returning to WWE at the Royal Rumble. Remember, he screwed over Edge a couple of weeks ago. Edge had his foot on the ropes. The referee never saw it, and Sami Zayn snuck away with a victory on that night. 
Gets another one handed to him earlier tonight on Raw, but I, I just got a feeling that Edge and AJ Styles are finally going to give Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn the comeuppance they have been in much need of. It'll happen on Sunday night, but Pete Dunne, Randy Orton continuing their main event affair here on Monday Night Raw. Orton whips the Intercontinental Champion off, follows it up with the Luthes Press. This has been majority WWE Champion in control in this champion versus champion match. Orton goes for a strike. Pete Dunne with a nice counter. Going for a shot. Pete Dunne, wait a minute, kick to a gut. Oh, no. Randy Orton gets sent for a ride. And that may be all she wrote, but the champion gets the shoulder up. And you got to believe if that maneuver was a little bit later on in this matchup, that would have been the final nail in the coffin of this affair. Oh, wait a minute. Pete Dunne's going for the kill. Not wasting any time. Pump handle slam. Bitter end to Randy Orton. Pete Dunne's finishing maneuver. And the WWE Champion gets the shoulder up. But again, I got to mention, if that was later on in this contest, you got to believe Pete Dunne would be walking away the victor right now. Pete Dunne throwing his best maneuvers at Randy Orton, possibly in an attempt to get this match done and over with before his fight with Ilya Dragunov on Saturday. Randy Orton's been in control the majority of this matchup. Not a lot of offense the other way around. Pete Dunn has got to go back to the drawing board here if he wants to defeat Randy Orton tonight on Raw. Randy Orton is back in control after that flurry from the Intercontinental Champion. Orton whipping off Dunn and a vintage scoop slam by Randy Orton. Orton, just like that, finds himself back in the driver's seat in your main event. Presses Pete Dunn down on the canvas. The Intercontinental Champion is in a predicament here. All about gaining momentum towards this Saturday and Sunday's grandest stage of them all. Orton goes for the cover, looking to put this thing away. And the Intercontinental Champion lives to fight another moment. I'm sure Matt Riddle, as well as Ilya Dragunov, both have their eyes on their opponents for this Saturday and Sunday. One last look. Trying to scout Randy Orton, trying to scout Pete Dunne. Championships are going to be on the line. High pressure situations on the biggest nights of the year. And Pete Dunne again, trying to get back into this matchup. A fight that has been majority Randy Orton in control. And there's an elbow right to the face of the bruiserweight. Pete Dunne has got to find a way to get back in control of this matchup. He cannot allow Randy Orton to continue beating him down here. But Pete Dunne is going to be feeling the effects of this matchup come Saturday night at WrestleMania. And he cannot go into a matchup with the hard-hitting, invincible Ilya Dragunov at anywhere not near 100%. Randy Orton has got Pete Dunne into the corner. The Intercontinental Champion is feeling it right now. Randy Orton looking to take things to the sky here. Wants the victory and wants it now. Superplex from the top rope. Down goes the Intercontinental Champion. The crowd here is loving this fight. And, oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. The Royal Rumble winner, Matt Riddle's in the ring. I, I believe I heard a bell. I think the referee called for this match to be over. Riddle has hit the ring. He's ambushed Randy Orton. This match is over, ladies and gentlemen. Disqualification. I guess Randy Orton gets handed the victory thanks to the, the, the DQ by Riddle, but I don't think Riddle cares right now about this matchup. After earlier tonight, Riddle has got a bone to pick with Randy Orton ahead of this Sunday at WrestleMania, but Orton sends him over the top rope. Chaos ensuing once again. This is what has been happening for weeks on Saturday night's main event on Raw at Elimination Chamber. These fights are the reason that their match on Sunday will be no holds barred. Riddle just ate the post there, and Randy Orton ambushed by Matt Riddle in the midst of this main event. Disqualification, champion versus champion going up in smoke, but Randy Orton has turned the table on the original bro, and Riddle is dazed and confused right now, and he eats the barricade for dinner. And oh no, Randy Orton's going under the ring. It's no holds barred this Sunday. Wait a minute, Orton's got that damn sledgehammer, and he hits Riddle in the gut with it. That sledgehammer has been the weapon of choice of this entire story back at Extreme Rules, back at Elimination Chamber, and here again tonight, Orton uses the hammer right to the gut of his WrestleMania opponent. 
And the DDT, Riddle, just stay down before you're too injured to fight on Sunday. Sledgehammer to the gut again. We gotta get some help out here and separate the WWE Champion and the number one contender. Wait a minute, Orton, clear it off the announce table. Riddle will not stay down and Orton is gonna make sure Riddle does not go walking into Tampa Bay, Florida. This is getting ridiculous. I know Riddle was fed up after the interference earlier tonight. Orton Coulson in the matchup. But you got Orton this Sunday and now look what is happening. Randy Orton sends Riddle gut first in the announce table and head first off the damn table at the Riddle's already ate in the sledgehammer to the ribs, not once but twice here tonight. And oh no, oh no, Riddle, Riddle's on the table. Orton, I'm joining him up here. Come on, God damn it! an RKO through the announce table. Riddle may not be walking into WrestleMania this Sunday. The WWE Champion has left his challenger out for dead here tonight on the final Monday Night Raw. Get some damn help out here. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a